welcome back guys so this is the next video that i was talking about so the, uh, in the last video we failed our first unit test which was not really a unit test i mean it is a it was a unit test but you know, nothing much was in it it was just like a uh, it was more uh, of a demo kind of thing so in this video uh, we are going to actually start writing our code I know some of you might be thinking like this guy just talks he does nothing so from this video we are going to actually start writing code right so yeah so in the last video what we did was we didn't have a member so obviously we could not import the member so now we are going to create the member dot py file here we are going to create the member class we are going to initialize it and we are just going to let it pass right now we run the test again it ran zero tests how can it run zero tests hmm something is weird since i do have members and i do have okay maybe now all right this is weird because when i didn't have the member i ran one test and now i didn't run any test okay okay let's just see what happens let's run our uh, let's create our first test and the test will be the initialization hmm. initialization which means creating the object so so let, uh, right now the object is not supposed to have anything so the only thing that we are going to test is self dot assert equal the only thing that we are going to test is if the, if our self dot member is an object of the member class or not so is instance is instance basically checks uh, returns us what the you know what the what class our object belongs to sorry that took so long to spit out so self dot member should be is instance self dot member of the member class and this should return true okay so let us yep so our first test ran and it said okay so our first test passed and now we are going to have our second test and our second test is basically going to be all the properties that we have for our code so the properties that we have are id name gender mother father spouse and children right and <clears throat> the methods are the constructor which is what we are testing right now we are testing initialization so constructor is what we are testing the parameters it expects are id name gender right so let us give it the id name and gender i sure hope you guys are not getting irritated by me just going blah 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 you know so the name is i am going to call him zim and he is going to be a mail right so self dot assert equal these are all the tests this is check instance and this is check properties we are going to check all the properties self dot assert equal self dot member dot name i mean id is one equal self dot member dot name is of course zim and self dot assert equal self dot member dot gender is male guys right and also it's going to have other 
variables i mean data members data members data members mother father spouse and children whose default values are going to be null values and oh sorry the children is going going to be an empty list sorry where did it go yeah so assert equal self dot member dot mother is going to be none assert equal self dot member dot father is going to be none as well self dot assert equal spouse is going to be none as well and then assert equal self dot member dot children is going to be an empty list okay also guys mail should actually give me an error because i am actually going to create an enum okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an enum for it so let us write a test for that as well edge case for gender so it should uh, so uh, gender can be either male or either female right so assert we are going to create an object and that object will be called with an invalid gender and that should raise an error assert raises is the thing that we are going to look for we are going to raise a value error and we're going to create a member class i mean a member object and uh, guys so how assert raises works is basically it takes in the function name uh, or anything that is supposed to be executed in this case we are executing the constructor so anything that's supposed to be executed and all the parameters that are supposed to be there so one okay i should really add uh, error test case for that that the duplicate that we can't have duplicate IDs or stuff like that hmm so if there's a member which already has this ID we can't actually we are going to assign IDs ourselves cells so we're going to make sure that you know members are not created by anyone outside our own functions so yeah that's fine I think we are going to create we don't really need to test the ID because we ourselves are going to assign the ID. I mean, we ourselves by that, I mean our code. So uh, it's two. We're going to create another name called Zim2. And the gender is going to be some. No, uh, I'm not going to call him Zim2. I'm not something. I'm a guy. So I'm just going to call him some other person. And his gender is something queer is a better word i don't mean to offend anybody you know so queer some other person is queer and this is going to raise a value error because in our code at least in git trust's uh, problem statement we don't have uh, any other gender than male or female so uh, yeah that's the whole reason and this is supposed to raise an error right and without i think that pretty much covers it uh, we are supposed to um, get all values there and yeah these are all the tests that we need to have for initialize so let us fail them so the first thing is init takes one positional argument four were given and those four were basically one two three and then we have a self member right so guys we are finally going to make the test pass so name gender sorry the first thing that we get is the id name and gender self.id is going to be id so then name is going to be name so gender is going to be gender i'm so sorry if you guys are not by the way annoyed by the way i speak father is going to be none as well spouse is going to be none as well and children is going to be an empty list voila and it should give me an error 
for anything other than male or female right so let us test that and we are still going to have some failures see everything else passed we just didn't get the value error as we expected right so why isn't it there let us create the value error so we will create an enum let us follow the guidelines that we have see gender is an enum the enum has male or female if you guys have not used enum before let me just create let me just show you guys so first we have to do enum right then we are going to create a class call it whatever and it's going to inherit enum.enum now x suppose it has value of this suppose it has y which has the value of 2 right so now what we are going to do is we are going to create value for whatever so whatevs whatevs is basically going to be a whatever and the value will be 1 so you see what else is an enum object value of 2 enum object value of 3 oh you see that it raises a value error I have done my research so now here is whatever right so this is how enums work also by the way whatevs is basically this right so if you want to know all the property name as well as the properties value this is how you do it whatevs dot name will give us y right which is y so it will give us the property name property yeah property name and then whatevs dot value will give us the value so that's how enums work right so with that you know how enums work let us use that for our gender let us go over here create gender real quick and it's going to be enum uh, it's going to have male and it's going to have female hmm and our gender is going to be an object of the gender enum right so now let us test our code again gender takes no arguments are you kidding me right now oh right sorry how can i be so stupid i mean it's completely possible that i can be this stupid but you know sometimes you expect too much from yourself so now our test should pass well we have another value error male is not a valid gender okay see guys this is what test driven development is good for you know you get to you get to see all types of errors so since our enum only expects male or female right so here we cannot have male and we cannot have small letter male over here so now all of our test tests should pass okay there's another problem gender dot male is not equal to male so you see guys over here we just compared self dot member dot gender with male if you guys know already self dot member dot gender self dot member dot genders i mean self dot gender is an enum object and we're comparing that with a string that is why we get got this error so in ipython we just uh, did something like this so we get the property name and we also get the property value so here we're going to see if the gender's property value is equal to male right and now our test should pass and there we go we ran our first test and it passed amazing okay guys so 
in the next video we are going to create tests for some of the methods i'll be walking through the other methods that we have set mother father spouse add child and all that so for this video that's it for this video i mean thanks so much for watching and see you guys in the next video